OnePlus has just revealed the OnePlus 10T. It's the latest in the company's mid-cycle spec bumps, and you do get a performance upgrade as always. But this year, you do also lose a few key features. Here's everything you need to know about it. Since most of the tweaks are under the skin, let's talk specs. The OnePlus 10T is the latest smartphone to get the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. In Malaysia, you also get 16 gigs of RAM and 250 gigs of storage as your only option. To keep it all cool, the OnePlus 10T gets something called a cryo-velocity vapor chamber, the largest ever fitted to a OnePlus device. The company has also added a few gaming-centric features as part of the Hyperboost gaming engine, including a GPU load control that helps improve graphics rendering efficiency and reduce power consumption. The other big news is charging. The 10T has a massive 150 watts of SuperVolt charging that will fully fill the battery in just 19 minutes. To accommodate the increased wattage, the phone will constantly adjust charging to keep within a safe range. It also comes with something called battery healing technology that OnePlus says will even repair the electrodes when charging. The company claims the 10T will maintain at least 80% of its original battery capacity, equivalent to around 4 years of use, even with full SuperVolk charging. Now, on to some of the things that have been downgraded over the OnePlus 10 Pro, which was introduced earlier this year. The battery itself is slightly smaller at 4,800 mAh, though the company says it still provides 26 hours of use. Also, you no longer get wireless charging. As for cameras, the 10T gets a 50 megapixel main camera with an f1.8 lens and the popular Sony IMX766 sensor. The f2.2 ultrawide is only 8 megapixels and instead of a telephoto camera, you get a 2 megapixel macro shooter. As you can see, there's no more Hasselblad branding anywhere on this phone, though the company says it's still working with the high-end Swedish camera brand on other products. Flip the phone around and you find a 16 megapixel selfie camera instead of a 32 megapixel one on the 10 Pro. You also get a lower resolution full HD plus AMOLED display, still 6.7 inches with 120 hertz refresh rate. The touch sampling rate is still a whopping 1000 hertz and OnePlus says it has reduced touch latency by 10 milliseconds. At the back, you still get a large camera bump with four circles and that wraps around the side of the phone. There are two colors available, Moonstone Black with a stone-like finish and a glossy jade green. We'll only be getting the green one, however. Notably, the 10T lacks OnePlus's trademark alert slider, apparently to fit the 8 Plus Gen 1 chip and 150 watt charging while maintaining a thin and light design. Presumably, there's some cost cutting here as well. Speaking of which, we'll have to wait until August 18th for pricing, although you can expect it to be cheaper than the 10 Pro, which costs over 4,000 ringgit retail. The OnePlus 10T will go on sale in Malaysia on September 1st, so keep it locked right here on Soya Chinchow for more updates. So there you have it, the OnePlus 10T. Are the performance upgrades enough to justify losing a few features? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.